Andy Katz here for NCAA.com and March Madness with my latest Power 36 Team of the Week and Player of the Week heading into 2022. Start at the top, our Team of the Week, Baylor, number one. Remaining undefeated, going into Ames, Iowa, knocking off Iowa State, previously undefeated in a Big 12 showdown. At number two, Duke, Blue Devils still on pause. Should get back in action soon. Number three, Purdue, getting ready to restart the Big 10 with a matchup against Wisconsin on Monday night. At number four, Gonzaga. The Zags waiting to start the WCC because they were on pause. At number five, Kansas. The Jayhawks picked up George Mason, sold out the game. No surprise, Jayhawks win. At number six, UCLA. The Bruins will go 22 days in between games when they take on Arizona State on Wednesday, 34 days in between home games. At number seven, Michigan State. The Spartans coming back to beat Northwestern on the road in Evanston on Sunday. Number eight, Kentucky. The Wildcats destroyed High Point last week on Tubby Smith night. Great gesture by the Wildcats to raise Tubby Smith's name into the rafters after winning a national championship uh, with Kentucky. At number nine, Arizona. Wildcats, uh, no COVID pause for them, but all their opponents were. So they'll restart here later this week in the Pac-12. At number 10, USC coming off of that pause, still undefeated. So you got Baylor and USC and Colorado State, the three remaining undefeated teams. At number 11, Auburn. Auburn knocked off one of the other remaining undefeated teams in LSU. The Tigers looking very, very good, like they can win the SEC. At number 12, Ohio State. Major scare from the Buckeyes, having to go into overtime to win at Nebraska on Sunday night. But Ohio State was coming off a long pause themselves. At number 13, Villanova finally looking like a top 15 team. They go in and they win at Seton Hall. At number 14, Providence, the Friars, top 15 team right now, go on the road. They went into Paul, road, neutral, essentially everywhere except for taking on uh, Virginia where they lost to the Cavaliers. Otherwise, they've been perfect. And at number 15, Texas, the Longhorns, finally looking the part like a team that we thought in the preseason was top five. Now, West Virginia was depleted, no Tash Sherman. Still, Texas dominated this basketball game. They look sensational in that outing over the Mountaineers. Some new teams in the Power 36. At number 30, North Carolina, they destroyed Boston College on Sunday. Number 31, SMU. The Mustangs have won eight straight, including knocking off UCF, which had just beaten Michigan. And on SMU, Kendrick Davis, our National March Madness Player of the Week. He had 20 against UCF, 25 against Tulsa. He's averaging 21.6 points per game for the Mustangs. And Louisville checks in at number 33, 3-0 in the ACC. Won a couple of games, beating Wake and on the road against Georgia Tech since they had their mini pause after losing to Western Kentucky, couldn't play Kentucky. Well, since they've come back and played very well. So, Player of the Week, Kendrick Davis from SMU. National Team of the Week, Baylor. That's a look at our Power 36 team and Player of the Week for March Madness.